If this was a ground, if this was a groundhog day, I could get behind it. Every morning waking up to Wienerlicious, I could get behind that type of groundhog day. So, you guys may have seen this back in our Mackinac City video. Why are we here again? Well, baby. We're gonna walk, walk the big bridge. We made it for the bridge walk. We're gonna walk the big bridge. We're about to walk the big bridge. I don't know how this production is gonna turn out. Like, it's supposed to be just thousands upon thousands of people. So, um, we're gonna walk places. Every store has a sign that says $20 parking. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is gonna be so cool. We're going to walk the big bridge. Shout out, huge shout out, Nick, Kristen. Um, we're gonna meet up with you guys in St. Ignacy. I got, I get more chances to say St. Ignacy again. Um, so we're gonna meet up with you guys in St. Ignacy. Um, but huge thank you guys for dropping us off. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're gonna try to just grab, walk in here. Oh, this is so cool. Walkers, you guys are killing it right now. You woke up pretty early, and now you're walking the thick, longest suspension bridge in the world. He's just giving us trash. He's just giving us trash because the runners finished right, before us. So, back on, I forget August, that is where we got picked up since we could not walk the bridge. Um, and now the steps are being connected. So cool. Yeah, So I wasn't able to film it because I didn't know what the procession was about, but we just saw the governor of Michigan walking across the other side, which was pretty cool. Hey, Kai, anything to say? That was the governor of Michigan. It's pretty cool. Um, there's like a giant procession. at her go. So what's funny enough is Magpie, even while we're walking the bridge, we know we just walk from one end to the other, she still look, tried to check her events of maps to try to see how far we had to go. It's like, oh, so cute. So cute. I just wanted to know how far we were. So cool, baby. Oh, now we're on the grates. Baby. So you're supposed to look down. Ready? Set. Oh no. Don't look down. Oh man. <laughs> that's that's super super scary. Ba baby, did you look down? Oh man. That's so uh I don't necessarily like it. It 
does give you a little vertigo, doesn't it? Wow. All right, so we were walking down and somebody Denali, another NCT hiker, she's actually all the way out in New York right now, and um, she came all the way back to the and then also Maisie May, who's been following us, um, came to do the bridge walk too, so they saw Magpie and uh, got all happy to see Magpie. Magpie, were you happy? Halfway to the point of the bridge. Oh, that is a cute corgi. Oh, if I stop, Magpie leaves me. But uh, yeah, super cool to run into Denali. Um, really cool. The bridge has started spacing out too. So we have passed through the second arch, and now we're on the Candy last night? No. Oh, I've gotten the donut box. That's how. <laughs> I hope the camera picked that up. Her Where phone is sticky because it got in a donut, donut box. box last night. That's just a common problem with three hikers. Why is it sticky? It got in the donut box. Oh, this is so cool walking over the Great Lake. Yeah, it's like a fun type of spur. How do you? Man, too much. Downhill approach, you can see St. Ignacy. Ignacy. event that's just not crushing miles on a through hike um, I thought that was pretty fun to actually like be part of like a normal event while also doing a through hike so that was pretty cool. We're gonna get our bridge certificate. Pretty cool. All right, so we are officially done. They gave us a little certificate, um, but now we have to get over to the visitor center over there to officially connect the footsteps. Um, and it was funny because we tried to walk across the other way and there's this woman, a volunteer there, that said, no, you actually have to go, go across. And we're like, oh, okay. And Magpie had made like a comment about connecting the footsteps. And um, as we were walking away, the police officer must have asked, what is, what's connecting the footsteps? And she actually knew, she's like, you, as we were walking away, you could hear her say, well, the North Country Trail. And then it kind of faded off as we were hiking. Oh, really? I didn't hear that part. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like the awareness around it's pretty sweet. I mean, um, on the back yeah. of the thing. On the back of the thing. So that's pretty awesome. So. We're gonna go find a crosswalk over to where the trail is over yonder ways. And um connect your footsteps and then we can eat. Connect our little feet. Connect the little feet steps. Okay, we go places. Really walking the trail. So we have now connected ev every single footstep. Um we just got the done the bridge walk and we have now connected every step from Vermont to uh 
Upper Peninsula so far, and it's going to be connected to North Dakota. So we got it done. We connected the footsteps. Sweet. All right. All right. So we're stopping the. Tra Are you filming? Yep. So we're stopping the tracker right here, where we connected our little feet's feet. Um, Time then, to go get food. Then we'll pick it up later today. So we get back in the port. We're going to have to add the mileage up later today. Yep. So y'all can't beat this. Nick and Kristen picked us up. Best trail angels ever. <laughs> he's like oh he's like you want the bridge yeah. with raven along um awesome 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 eating mickey d's looking at the bridge we just walked hanging out with some cool peeps good time folks good times good bridge walk day all right so we are back on the north country trail up in the porcupine mountains footsteps are about to be connected right about schmear we got the tracker going and Nick has been our main man for the past two days, 24 hours. 24 it's hours. not even been two days, don't, don't, don't but don't forget Kristen and Raven. Kristen, Kristen and, Raven and Raven have been awesome. I mean, just the entire crew. Like we. The most chill baby. Yeah, we got a ride from. Coolest mom. At 8.30 last night. And then until. 2 a.m. the next. 2 a.m. This morning. This morning. And then we got a ride back at 10 a.m. all the way back to here. Mm -hmm. at five after stopping for a quick resupply and slept in Mackinac city walked the bridge met back up with nick um and Kristen and raven and had some lunch at the mickey d's and then drove all the way back it's been a full production less than and 24 resupplied. hours because we got picked up at 8 30. yeah so, so I... it's been 21 hours so nick chris and raven y'all are awesome thank you guys so much this thank, thank, thank you so much for inspiring everybody who's watching these youtube videos <sighs> Thank you. And it's, I feel like a part of history, to be Yay. totally honest. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, you're it's, definitely part of our history. You're part of our history. Yeah, that is amazing. I'm it made to get it so easy. I'm on Constantine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, end it with a video clip of her face. Of course, as you're filming, a car goes by. I know. Oh, yeah, there's been no traffic on the whole road. Of course. And then, of course, a car goes by when you're filming. All right, we're going to go walk into the Porcupine Mountains. And then we're going to go to sleep. Not for a few more miles. <laughs> All right, I think we have climbed, or pretty much our only climb that I perceive of any consistency in the Porky Mountains. Um, even the consistent climb wasn't too bad. It was super well graded, really good trail. Um, I wouldn't say it's out of context to try to assume trail is gonna be this, really well beaten down and traveled. So about a mile or two, after Nick dropped us off to connect our feet steps again, can't thank y'all enough, Nick, Kristen, and Raven, um, the logistics that you put into getting us back to the bridge with underneath 24 hours. So um, I think I touched on it, but I'm gonna go A, B, C, D on y'all to show you how much logistical moving parts there are. So first we had to run out a 33 mile day, okay. We did that through the trap hills and through the trail leading up to the Porkies. We met Nick um, at about 8.30 um, and we drove all through the night. I think when we got to Mackinac City, it was like 2 a.m. So when we got to Mackinac City, we had to find a spot to sleep for three or four hours. So we pulled up back onto the trail to find a spot and um, we crashed around 3 a.m. We woke up around 7 a.m. So slept in a little bit, had about four hours of sleep, and then instantly started walking the bridge. We walked the bridge from 7 a.m. to 9, um, where we got to the other side and ultimately connected our footsteps. From 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., we waited for Nick and Kristen and Raven to come pick us up and we chatted away with some folks. Um, from 10 p.m. to 11, 10, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., we walked back to the car to start the drive back to the Porky, Porcupine Mountains. 
um, at 11 to 12, we dropped Kristen and Raven off. And then it was just Nick, Magpie, and me again. And we drove again for five or six hours. And we just stopped at the mayor in uh, Marquette, actually, where we had resupplied about a week ago, fond memories of cake to uh, resupply. And we got dropped back off at the trailhead. We got out of the car at five, packed up our resupply, got stepping right around, I don't know, 5'10", 5'15". Um, so underneath 24 hours, we drove, out of those 24 hours, we drove 12 hours. We hiked for two, we slept for four. Um, I don't know how that's adding up. Oh, but spent an hour or two chatting with um, people at the bridge and eating lunch. So, yeah, that was out of all the scenarios to get back to the bridge and then get back to trail. That was like the qu quickest we could go. If we by far the quickest we could go, unless we decided to just try to drive straight to the bridge and start at 6 a.m., which would not have been fun on us or Nick. Um, so that was by all the circumstances that we had, like the most on point, fantastic circumstances we could possibly imagine. So Nick, Kristen and Raven, again, I said it a lot of times, but can't thank y'all possibly enough that you guys made not only these hikers day, but just like our minds at ease hiking more westbound and finishing up the North Country Trail. So thank you guys so much. That was, beyond generous, beyond fantastic, beyond, 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 beyond. Thank you. Um, Batman. There's a, we're gonna do the BB for the rest of the trail. Batman, was it Batman? I think it was Batman Bees. Batman Bees. Bum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, that's a legit cabin. Beautiful spot. It is. Look at those cliffs. All right, so we're gonna add that to the 5.8 today. 
Not a lightning day, but that's okay because we were bridge walking. We may have only traveled, what would that total be? 14 and some change, I think 14 and a half miles by foot, but we traveled at least 500 miles by car. So that's okay with me. That is okay with me. All right, what a day, what a day.